Hi guys, DJ AJ101 here, and I'm here with an unboxing of the Newmark M1 Compact Scratch Mixer. Now, I'm actually not even going to be using this mixer for scratching anything, uh, let alone music. I'll actually be using it. I'll be using it in conjunction with the speakers that you guys just saw me unbox, the PVPR12Ds. So this guy will actually help me, you know, control the highs and the lows a little bit, you know, a little bit more customizable as far as tweaking. And I'll actually be able to use the sliders for volume. And also I'll have that second channel just in case I do need to hook up, you know, dual laptops, dual CD players, dual iPods, you know, or I just need to hook up a secondary source. Maybe I need to hook up a compact disc player or, you know, and, uh, you know, another input for your iPod or something like that. I've had situations where uh, here's the front of the box. And of course, uh, here's the side, just kind of gives you uh, a little bit of the, um, uh, you know, pretty much telling you exactly what it all has on it. Uh, replaceable crossfade, uh, switch to channels one and two, the back of it, the back of it, of the box here, which just kind of gives you an overview on what it actually looks like um, on the front of it, the back of it, all the various inputs and output that it has, telling you a little bit about, you know, what, what it can all do. Uh, and let's crossfade. cut this guy open. Actually, kind of. A so there you go. Sorry, I don't mean to stand the light for you guys, but let's kind of pull it out here. Of course, what does it have right in the front? Uh, the new Mark uh, two-channel mixer, the manual. Always good to have that, just in case you don't know what it does. Empty box. That was it. I'm just gonna throw that off to the side there. Take off the two styrofoam pads. Throw that one over there has the power block right in here. I'm actually just going to cut that off. Whoops. <laughs> and of course it falls out. A little padded, uh, little padded foamy bag here. This is attention in a couple different languages. Plastic bags can be dangerous. Of course they can. And you should remember to recycle it. So anyways, we're just going to roll this guy out. And there it is. As you guys can see, it has all the uh, knobs and controls right here at the top of it. Uh, it has your gain, your treble, and your bass, and then your switches for controlling the line to phono inputs. And as well as the bottom here, it has the uh, sliders as well as changing your channels from left to right. Channels 1 and 2, and of course, something I forgot to mention, it actually has an input for a microphone, which is always welcome if you want to hook up a microphone to this guy, just in case you do need to, uh, to announce something. And of course, headphone output, which is always welcome if you want to sample a song before you actually play it over the device itself. And of course, here is the back, just like we saw. Get you guys a nice close-up of that. Like I said, it has the power uh, input, so you can get power output for your left and right channels through your um, RCA. Uh, channel 1, channel 2 for input for line 1 and line 2, and phono 1 and 2. So it has pretty much everything you need to hook up, you know, a standard mixer, a standard CD player, computer, whatever you want to hook up that uses RCA, you are set to go with this mixer. I will be Anyway, guys, if you have any comments, any questions, just feel free to leave me a post below, send me a message, like, dislike this video, it always helps me out. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go for now. What are your guys' thoughts on this um, new Mark M1 uh, scratch mixer? Um, do you guys like it? Do you not like it? Would you be thinking about picking one up for yourself? Uh, let me know. Always love to hear feedback from the uh, tech and DJing community out there. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling on long enough. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good one until then, all right?